In this video, I'll show you how to use Roshade on Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end as well, so you know everything you need to know about using Roshade. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is download and install Roshade, and then we're showing you exactly how you can go and use it. So if you already have it installed, and you can skip this part of the video, but if you don't, make sure you watch the whole thing. So go and open up a new tab. Personally, I'm using Google Chrome, um, but you can use any browser you would like. And all you need to do is search for Roblox and then a row shade, so R-O-S-H-A-D-E, just like so, and press search. And you want to make sure you come to the official website, which is roshade.com. Then here we are. Now, all you want to do is come to this top bar here where we've got a few options and you want to go and press on download. Now, as you can see, there's a free and a pro version. Now, the free version has everything you're going to need. You can go and pay for the pro version, but honestly, the free one's fine. But of course, the pro version does go and support the developer. So I'm going to go for the light free version. So go and press download and then you're going to go and get a pop up just offering you an offer. I'm going to go and press ignore for now. And then you need to go and agree to the license agreement in this. But I personally have already read it and I agree to it. Now, it's also important to note as well is when you go and press agree, you're going to go and get a six second ad um, and it's going to be like this. And what you need to do is wait in the top right and that's going to be a skip button after the few seconds has passed. So it should be any moment now we can go and press skip just like so and be very careful what you click in the ad wall um, because there's all sorts of random things there. So just be careful of what you click. Then all you need to do is come to the bottom of the page and go and press on download. And then it's going to go and start downloading the installer. It'll take a moment to download it. And in my case, the setup file has appeared in the bottom of my browser, but that's just how Google Chrome works. Every browser is slightly different, but you can always go and find files you download in your downloads folder in your file explorer. So go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder to go and find the row shade setup file. Now I'm gonna go and drag it onto my desktop just to make it clear for you guys. But as I said before, you guys can just go and open up your downloads folder and go and run the file from there. Then all you want to do is go and double tap on it just like so. And we're gonna go and get the installer pop up. And we, all we're gonna do is press install just like so. And then we get a few options here. We can go and choose the keybinds. Um, so as you can see, you can go and toggle shaders on and off with F8 or end, and you can go and open and close the reshade panel um, with F7 or home. I'm gonna keep them F8 and F7 and then press next. And then I want all of these to be installed. So I'll press install and now it's going and installing it. But pretty much all those options are up to you. So you can go and choose what you'd like. And then once it's finished, a next button's going to appear in the bottom right. So go and tap on it just like so. And then you can go and press close and launch. And then what it's going to go and do, it's going to go and launch you back to Roblox with a random game. I'm going to go and press on home and I'm going to go and join a game to go and test this in. So usually I actually go and test it in jailbreak because in jailbreak there's tons of textures. But you can go and launch any game you'd like. So then go and press the play button and Roblox is going to launch just as usual and I'll show you what to do once the Roblox loads. So here we are, Roblox is now loaded and automatically it's going to go and apply some shaders if I go and press F8 as that's what I chose to toggle the on and off button with. As you can see, you can see a difference. This is with them on and this is with them off. But of course, you can go and customize this way more. So all you need to do is either press end or F7 depending on which you selected and then it's going to go and open up the row shade settings. So all you want to do is come to the top right um, and make sure you're in the home page. And on this home page right at the top, this is where you can go and change the main preset or just sort of shader you're applying. We've got glossy, we've got green screen, we've got road shade high and low, and then medium and very glossy. So let's go and test out row shade medium. So tap on it and then you need to go and press select and it's going to go and reload it. And then all you need to do is go and close the menu and press F8 and then it's going to go and apply it. And as you can see, you can definitely tell a difference with that. And that is only using the um, medium version. So of course we can go and increase this and see an even bigger difference as well. So now let's go and open up the row shade menu again. So tap on F7 and let's come to this top bar here. And as you can see, you can go and choose the preset again, go and see which looks best for you. But once you've gone and chosen a preset, you can go and customize all of these. And if you hover over some of them, it's going to go and describe what it's going to go and do. For for example, this one here is a fixable vignette overlay effect with multiple shapes and blend modes. So you can try and enable these and then go and see if you like the look of them. So you can go and tinker with all of these, there's tons to go and try. Um, and then let's come back to the top and go and press on add-ons and you get a bit more information here. Now settings, this is basically like general screenshots and overlay and styling. So general is going to be things like keybinds mainly and then you've got screenshots so you can go and take a screenshot using Roblox which is quite cool. And then you've also got overlay and styling. Um, so you can go and mess around with that but it's not really needed. 
and then you've got statistics so you can go and see some data if you want and then you've got log and about so the log's just going to be sort of a history of everything and the about is just going to go and explain everything but the main bit you need is the home page and honestly the main thing you need to be able to do is change the present and that's going to make a big difference let's go and test out the very glossy very glossy looks insane so let's press select and it's going to go and reload everything let's close off row shade and as you can see this looks crazy guys um and yeah i mean you probably don't want to use this too much but it still looks really cool and it's worth testing out uh, and it may lag a bit depending on your computer as well so you may need to go and use a different preset. Let's press F7. If you've got a laggy computer, I recommend sticking with Glossy or Rochade Low and just see how it runs. You can always go and sort of um, change it and lower the settings. And you can also go and turn some of these off to go and speed it up as well. The more effects you apply, it will probably lag more, which is something to consider. But yeah, honestly, it's definitely worth trying um, Rochade out. It's a really, really great tool. Um, and of course, you can go and get the paid version if you like, but the free light version is going to do everything you want it to. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.